Hello everyone! Today I'll prepare a specific set. This is set 1 of the easy level. This set refers to algebraic expressions, how to simplify, how to work with certs, how to work with indices. It's all about that. And this is for A-level students and also for students of general math. Alright, so everyone welcome. If you want to recap that, this is right for you. So this level is of easy one because it has deal with just basic simplifications. It's how to work with polynomials, basically. It doesn't refer to the questions about how to multiply them, how to divide. So the maximum that you can find how to add or subtract polynomials by providing like terms. And also it's all about indices and uh, exponents, right? So indices and exponents and also how to rationalize expressions like questions similar to a rationalized denominator and this stuff, okay? It's how to work with certs. All right, so let's start with the question one. I'll provide several questions in this set and that's gonna be a good revision for you. So grab your pens, grab your notes and let's get started. So question one, for the following polynomial that you can see here, you need to find how many terms are there. All right, so terms. Basically, each separate thing that you can see here is, is called term, basically the element. So that's why in polynomial terms are separated exponents with coefficients, which you add or subtract. Okay, so that's why the answer here is three because you can see three separate elements, okay? So the last is going to be the free coefficient because it doesn't contain any x value because x in the power is 0, which is 1, right? So that's why it's called free coefficient. So what is the coefficient of the fifth power of x? So here is the fifth power of x, this term, and that's why the coefficient is 7. What is the constant term? So as I said, the constant term it means it doesn't contain x value at all. So that's basically a number. But be careful that this term contain uh, the sign before. So always sign before relates to the coefficient, okay? So that's why it's negative 8 and that's the constant term. All right, let's get into the next one. 